natural storytellers. Stories let us share information. They help us understand one another and make what we know easier to remember. Stories leave a lasting impression on our lives through its narratives that we treat as valuable and important lessons in life. These internal narratives, the stories that we tell ourselves, gradually become an ingrained belief as they slowly begin to define our reality. Each and every one of us has a system of beliefs defined by our experiences, expectations, and perceptions. However, because we operate on the system, we are prone to setting down restrictions, limits, and borders. A limiting belief is something which you think to be true that limits you in some way. It's like a belittling myth you tell yourself. For example, I'll never be smart enough. I'm not good enough in today's society. Or you have to be tall in order to succeed or play in basketball. They can also be about your social interactions with other people. For example, I think she hates me, or I'll never make it into the school choir. They can also be about the world and its current state. For example, we'll never be able to fight climate change at this rate. The problem with these narratives is that all too often, they're not very accurate. They're mostly pessimistic ideas that prevent you from achieving your fullest potential. They turn your beloved hobbies into harrowing and nightmarish chores. I have limiting beliefs. You may too. They are part of a natural course of life. When I was about five years old, I really liked to dribble and shoot baskets. My parents noticed my keen interest in basketball early on and enrolled me in a house team. At that time, although I was pretty short, it wasn't very noticeable. Importantly, I was really happy playing the sport. This all completely changed when I got into grade four because that's when I tried out and got accepted into a club team which is a more sophisticated and competitive version of a house team. But this was also when I started to notice that I wasn't tall as my teammates. I was quite a bit shorter than them. Over the next four years that I played at this club team, this height disparity only grew. And with it, my fears and insecurities. I'd often cry after games thinking I wasn't good enough, tall enough, that I'd soon be kicked from my team. I was highly aware of the stereotype that basketball players are often tall, have to be tall, in order to succeed at the game, or they're left with a pretty big disadvantage. And so, by virtue of my height, or lack thereof, I reaffirmed my limiting belief that I was never going to be good at basketball, or worse, that I was just never going to play at all. This translated very poorly into my gameplay. I'd often immediately pass the ball as soon as I got it. I'd panically pass it, throw it away, do whatever I could to get it out of my hands for fear of failure. And this left me no opportunity to prove my limiting beliefs wrong. I'm now in ninth grade, and in the 2021 basketball school year, I played on the senior team of my high school, Port Moody Secondary. Still, I am plagued by fears and insecurities. There wasn't a day when I didn't feel like quitting, not because I didn't enjoy the sport, but because I felt unworthy, 
I was the only one who wasn't tall, who wasn't strong, who didn't fit your ideal body type of who you would expect a basketball player to be. There was one time when we lost to a team that we had won against twice before by nearly 40 points. Even though I personally didn't get a ton of play time, I thought for some reason that it was all my fault, that my team's failure was predicated on the fact that I was shorter than everyone, which sounds pretty ridiculous, but that's how my self-limiting belief went completely into overdrive. Afterwards, my coach called us for a sit down. What normally was roughly a 10 minute discussion on how we could improve turned into a 30 minute conference on what exactly we did wrong. My self-limiting belief overwhelmed me. I was scared. I thought she was going to blame me and I was petrified. But surprisingly, my coach was really nice about it. She told me something very important. She said that in every single sport, in every single thing you're going to do, there will always be failure. With success has to come failure, and you have to fail in order to achieve higher. It is a natural part of every single athlete's journey, and it has to happen for you to become good in your future. Limiting beliefs may be extremely hard to shake off. After all, you've probably had them for some time now and accepted them to be true and accurate. So you won't be able to talk yourself out of them overnight. Telling yourself you are accurate and you are worthy and you are totally good doesn't just make you feel that way overnight. So I want to give you a little bit of advice you can take away on how to shake off your limiting beliefs. However, before I'd start, I'd like to give you one quick pointer. Make a good network. Have friends, peers, teachers, coaches. Establish good relationships with those around you. They will establish the stepping stones to success and to positive and tangible change. With that in mind, here are three steps on how you can shake off your limiting beliefs. The first step is to accept. Accept the inevitable and the things you cannot change in your life. For example, I accept the fact that I am short. My height is something I have no control over. I also accept the fact and the story that you have to be tall to play basketball. It's just that, a story, and it should not dictate my gameplay. The second tip is to challenge. Challenge your beliefs. Ask yourself, what if I'm wrong? What if it's not true? I ask myself, why do I believe that I'm less capable than my fellow teammates just because I'm shorter and not as strong? There was no obvious answer. I was just jumping to conclusions. The third step and the most important is to embrace. After you've created your new narrative, you have to accept and take on this new reality and let it influence your perceptions. For example, now that I've understood the fallacies in my own opinions, I can see that I shine in other ways. Despite not being tall or super strong, I'm fast and I can maneuver around my enemies like that. So with all of these in mind, I think you'll have a lot better of a time shaking off your limiting beliefs. But that doesn't mean that they won't come back and vex you. They are part of a natural course of life. You will always face doubts. These three steps are meant to help you change these doubts into ones that will empower you in your future. After all, see where I am now. I've defied the massive stereotype that looms in basketball and in many other sports. You're supposed to be tall to play. You're supposed to be strong. And yet, here I am, 5'2", and playing basketball on the senior team of my school. I've defied and brought myself a new reality. And I actually have something really surprising that I also got out of it. I found myself 
a new niche in coaching others. I volunteer at a local basketball club and have a short stint as an assistant coach this summer. Through these three steps, I have expanded my own horizons, and now I'm so much happier teaching those who are smaller and younger than me. It can also still be quite intimidating, because even some of the grade fours and fives are taller than me. But that doesn't matter, because I'm happy now. I've accepted my new reality. I've broken my limiting beliefs. They still come back and haunt me, but now they don't interfere with my gameplay. I am finally happy and confident playing my game. So, it's time for you today to find yourself a new reality, to shake off your limiting beliefs, and embrace the new narrative you've created. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.